my name is Dominique. Uh, this is just going to be, I don't know. I'm just going to explain what's going on in my life right now. So a week ago, I was working at a restaurant downtown. Um, having, really, I enjoyed my job. Um, managers, not so much. I just moved into a townhouse with two roommates, and it was a pretty big townhouse. Like, it was pretty good. I'm only 23. I was doing really good for my age, living um, in Baltimore. But I really want to, I wasn't, I don't like being comfortable where I'm not supposed to be. I know I can do so much more with my life, and I know I have so much purpose um, than to just be comfortable working at a restaurant and not going anywhere. Um, I may have a, a nice house, but I wasn't happy. So long story short, I can put this all in another video, but I'm just going to kind of break it down. We had like $450 to my name, and I told myself I'm going to move to Georgia that night. At home, money was stolen from me. About $100 was stolen from me. Landlord wasn't giving me the money back because um, I wasn't going to stay there. Ended up leaving the next day and I'm on my way to Georgia. I get to Atlanta, Georgia 22 hours later on a bus. I'm in um, the bus station and I don't have nowhere to go. I made a couple of phone calls, it was on Craigslist, and I was going to stay and work somewhere for free. Um, I was, you know, working and they were going to let me stay there for free because I was working. So that didn't fall through. So I'm like at the bus station like, what did I just do, you know, like having regrets. But I met this guy there and he was going to Jacksonville, Florida. Long story short, I'm like, hey, I don't have really no step morals to be in um, Atlanta, Georgia. I don't know if that makes sense. but. Basically, I bought, I used the last bit of money, which only had $82, and that was exactly how much the bus ticket was. Ironically, it was $82.50, which I, that's all the money I had on me. So I get to Florida, it's nice, um, Jacksonville, Florida, but you know, he ended up doing his own thing, and I didn't have nowhere to go. So I met this girl. Um, and she let me stay at her hotel for the night and she ended up leaving the next day and I'm just like look I have to get back to Atlanta Georgia I just spent a hundred dollars on a bus ticket for a whole month and I'm not about to let that go to waste and I'm pretty sure I can make my way in Georgia so I get back to Georgia make a phone call and I get in contact with the um, guy that this house that I'm staying at this apartment so I get in contact with him and it's such and such a week because I only had like $200 probably on me. So I gave him what I needed to give him for the week and then I needed to pay every week. So everything's good. I had like two weeks covered. I didn't know how I was going to, you know, get the other two weeks down, but I just don't need to find a job ASAP. So I got a job at Walmart and I started sometime this week. So this is where everything crazy goes I'm walking to this guy house I just hung out with him the day before so I'm walking back to his house to hang out because you know we just watch Empire just chilling and he introduced me to his roommates and all that good stuff so um, walking back the next day and I had to cut through a neighborhood to get to his house or I was gonna have to walk like 25 minutes but cutting through the neighborhood it only took me about 10 minutes to get there so as I'm going over the gate these there's these two guys there I'm not going to really go into too much, too much detail, but they end up robbing me um, from all my rent money that I had, and I, they looked like they had something behind their back, so I couldn't really do much. I couldn't really fight my way off because I, at the end of the day, that would have been my life. I didn't follow the police report because I don't want a target on my back. Like, look, I'm out of money. I'm, I'd rather them, them take the money than my life. So I got robbed, and I let my landlord know the next day. And I told him I don't have the money for the rent. So basically, um, I won't have any money until I get my first paycheck from Walmart. And I don't get paid until probably two, three weeks from now. So long story short, I don't have the money, so I can't stay here. Um, and today's Monday. Um, tomorrow's is when I'm supposed to pay rent. Um, so basically, I'm going to be homeless for three weeks. Um, once I get my paycheck, I should be able to just get another room. But this was this apartment is nice. It's like right by my job. Like I can walk there, 
um, it's so convenient, it's nice, um, nice roommates, and it's, it sucks, but I just want to kind of make this video to basically just document the next three weeks and just see how hard it's going to be, or maybe it's not going to be that hard, um, I don't know, I'm working overnight, so I just got to find something to do throughout the day, and I'm working full time, so, um, yeah, I just want to, like, let you guys know, whoever's watching this, don't give up on your dreams. Um, life is going to give you all types of obstacles, and it's going to be hard. Like, you're going to be at your worst, and there were times where I just want to go home. I just want to go back to Maryland and have an easy life, but at the end of the day, it's going to be worth it. Like, <laughs> these three weeks are going to suck, but... I'm gonna get through it. I, I know I'm gonna get through it. I didn't do all this for nothing. You know, I didn't lose my laptop. I didn't even lose my Vulcan camera that I spent so much money on. Only thing left I have to my name is my cell phone and my, my clothes. That's it. I don't know how I'm gonna get the clothes for work, um, but I am going to get it. Um, I just know I'm gonna get through it um, and it's all gonna be worth it at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna vlog um, every day, just to, I don't know, just to document it, because I would love to look back at this and just be like, I did it, you know, but my arm hurts, I don't know, it's like, it really hurts right now for, from holding this, I don't see how people do this, do this, <laughs> but yeah, um, just, if you have a dream, go for it, I'm telling you, it's going to be hard, but don't give up, okay, I'll see you tomorrow.